So friends, when you enter the examination hall, your goal should be qualifying the exam, but not to get highest marks in the exam, as there is no weightage of these exam marks in the final selection. Friends, let's look at past cutoffs. In 2021, examination cutoff is 184 marks. To get more than that, you have to score 62 questions perfectly. And for 2020 FUC, it is even higher. 208 marks is the cutoff. And to get, you need to solve almost 70 questions perfectly. Friends, these kind of cutoffs we get when examination paper is comparatively easy. Friends, after completion of exam, 90% students think they have performed well and they are going to get selected for the interview. But out of this, less than 5% students will get a call for the interview. The main reason for this is, friends, silly mistakes. Friends, we know total 100 questions in 2 hours and each question gives us plus 3 and minus 1 if it is wrong. Friends, let's take a case if you have attempted 80 marks, 80 questions and you think all of, almost all of them are correct, you would be expecting a score of 240. And 5 silly mistakes. 5 is the bare minimum silly mistakes committed by everyone. This is average. Many people commit even more silly mistakes. So if you, if you commit 5 silly mistakes, 5 and each question costs you minus 4 marks. How? 1 negative for each question and you are losing actual marks of those questions, right? Each question gives you 3 marks and you are losing those 3 marks and 1 negative. So you will be lo losing 20 marks. So you will be getting a score of 220. For the same, if you consider for 70 attempted questions, you will be getting 190 marks. Friends, we must reduce the negative markings by increasing the accuracy. Out of the 100 questions, 80 questions are conceptual and 20 questions are numerical. And out of these friends, 5 to 10 questions take more time than the other questions. Friends, you must realize you need to skip these questions because these consume more time. And here every question gives us 3 marks. So, we should be able to ignore the questions which consume more time. And you have 120 minutes. I recommend you to consider first 100 minutes to solve questions. How many? You do not have to solve 100 questions. My idea is to solve 80 questions with 100% accuracy because even if you do with 100% accuracy, 5 silly mistakes is the bare minimum. Silly mistakes committed by anyone. By this way, we will score more than 200 plus. But friends, do you have to attempt every time 80 plus questions? No friends. By solving the paper, you will be knowing the difficulty level of the question. Sometimes 60 questions with 100% accuracy is enough to get into the interview. Friends, before entering the exam, never ever put a target number of questions that you have to solve because it depends on the difficulty level of the question. Sometimes you have to solve 80 plus questions, but sometimes you have, all you need to do is just solve 60 questions with 100% accuracy and there is a high chance for you to get into the interview. You have to do this in first 100 minutes. I would recommend you to take last 20 minutes for the analysis and how many negatives that you must have committed. Friends, because if you correct one silly mistake, you will be getting 4 marks. But if you do any more new question, you will be getting 3 marks, which is more advantageous, is correcting the silly mistakes. Friends, please don't get scared by looking at you need to solve 80 questions perfectly out of 100. Exam paper will be mostly easy. If it is difficult, all you need to score is around 60 questions. Perfect, friends. Here our main aim is decreasing the negative marks, decreasing the negative marks. This has always been the culprit. That is the reason 90% students always think they performed well, but out of them, only 5% students get the call for the interviews. So let's look at all the important points that we discussed. You need to score more than 60 questions perfectly with 100% accuracy to get the interview call and it will be decided by the difficulty level of the paper. If you can solve 90 questions, that is amazing, go ahead and do it, but these number of questions, questions should be, should not be having any silly mistakes. And I would recommend you to give at least 10 minutes to check the silly mistakes because it is very difficult for you to look at your own mistakes until you come out of the exam. And third point is very important friends, skipping the time consuming questions. 5 to 10 questions will be like this which consume a lot of time, so you should be able to skip that. And always remember 80% are conceptual questions, which will be very easy and very tricky as well. So the, this is the region where you could be committing a lot of silly mistakes. And 20% problems friends, by looking at the whole paper you will be knowing how many questions you need to solve with 100% accuracy to get into the interview. Friends, I am expecting one question from Stacking Fault Energy in BARC 2022 exam. Just look at these concepts once. So friends, all the very best for your exam. You're going to perform well. Take care.